This is the portion of the stream where we discuss all of the latest news and patch notes um, surrounding the lightweight MMORPGs that we play. So games such as Overlord now, the newest game on the docket, yeah. Idle MMO, Simple MMO, and Ironwood RPG. Uh, things are constantly, you know, being updated here, and so we're gonna, we're gonna start, um, you know, this segment now. All right, let's get into Overlord. So the latest patch here with Overlord.gg is alpha conclusions and beta release date. Crazy Fi, yeah. If you could just, you know, read this real quick. Sure. Uh, and yeah. So just as a heads up, there was an error system that was brought out of like, well, this is the future. And uh, real quick, we're going to have a whole breakout video about this. You'll you'll see later on. But real quick, errors yeah. was uh, wiping the game every three or four months uh, for yeah. various reasons. Now, the developer has listened to feedback and said, eh, let's take this back a little bit. Um, and now uh they're they're saying that okay we'll 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 move forward with the rest of the game and alpha is concluding this is the alpha game because there are not many bugs and there's the systems well built out right for now and they're mm -hmm. going to start a beta release system uh soon so essentially uh what is happening and I'll, I'll read real fast after reading through and listening to the feedback i've decided to hold off on the era system for now i feel we will be able to still create a game that is new player friendly without having to reset everyone's progress every few months. We may revisit the air system in the future, but for now the game will proceed without any form of resets once it goes live. With that out of the way, I'd like to announce a date for the start of the beta period, which will be Thursday, August 8th. Reminder that there will be a complete wipe of all game progress transitioning to the beta, and we'll also be deploying many balance changes to many aspects of the game. Stay tuned for the beta release patch notes, which will come early next week before the reset. We'd like to thank everyone for participating in the alpha testing period, and we'll prepare something to commem co commemorate all of you. Look out for the mentions of it in the patch notes. We hope to see all the familiar names and many new names on the beta leaderboard. So, August 8th, they're going to wipe the game, go into beta with a bunch of different balances, uh, and there's supposedly a lot of changes, rumor is. Um, for the love of God, people in chat. <laughs> Um, yeah, just keep going. <laughs> but anyways, so that that's what's going to be look out ne early next week uh, for the beta release. They're really on top of updating the game and doing new mm -hmm. balances and releasing the patch notes. And patch notes will be right here within the game for everyone to see. And we'll make sure yeah. to, to to cover that as well. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for a reset as well. Um, you know, outside of the error system, like moving to beta, it makes sense to reset because they're going to be all new balance system, like systems to this. Uh, so it, it's going to be basically a new test of the game. And then once, obviously, just like Ironwood RPG, when it goes live version 1.0, mm -hmm. then they will also uh, do another wipe again. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see what type of balances. Uh, the developer's been in our Discord, dropping a few leaks here and there. And uh, it sounds great. It sounds great. I think they're moving in the right direction um you know regardless of everything like w with the controversy if you will of the air yeah. system um not really controversy but you know it is what it is Just the the decision making behind it yeah um, so so yeah so two things i agree with everything that chris fighter said but it's huge to just stumble upon this game thanks to a recommendation by mm -hmm. one of our community members jowser uh yeah, Jowser, shout out to you and then also we have a beta date already yeah uh we have easily we have easily progress in this game because we are just so we have a dedicated couch cat crew yeah who are just motivated um but it's good to like finally be on you know even keel just like we were with ironwood rpg yep um so the wipe's gonna be huge so if you're i said this during the overview if you're a new player or you're wanting to get into this game maybe august 8th is the day for you yeah uh, and then yeah. two i was dragged into I was dragged into the conversation about yeah. the era system yeah. with the dev and one of his confidants. And I was like, yo, what the frick? <laughs> was like, he was like, hey, man, uh, you guys seem very, you know, uh, knowledgeable about, you know, persistent browser based games. So I want I want to hear your opinion. Oh, boy. Uh, from all the game. And I was like, this is difficult because simple and is the only PvP game we play. Yeah. Right. And. <laughs> No one, and, and you know, they're... Have you the read a resume? System, <laughs> I know. The error system is, you know, addressing whales, you know, leaderboard gaps, things of that nature. But in Simple Mill, we have a, a level 1 million player that 
I guess no one really gives a shit about. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. it's a very different. Um, but it would be like a SGL wipe every yes. freaking four to six months. But I was there. I voiced my opinion. Uh, and you know, me and Crazy Fight will talk about that. Understand the video, but yeah, yeah, good stuff coming out of this game. Just go to the just, if, even if you don't want to play, go to the patch note section and just see what this dude's pumping out. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, Crazy Fight, you're ready. Let's move on to the idle MMO yeah, uh, news segment tonight. Yeah. There's been multiple updates since our video. But this is the biggest one in our opinion. It's uh, version 0.20.0 PB. It's the Forge UI rework. And in our notes, I spelled it for goo. So for the Forge <laughs> uh, UI rework, uh, the UI has been re reworked. Congrats. Um, they've implemented a filtering feature that allows users to select and view items based on different types. Uh, so that's nice. Added a feature to only show items a character can craft. Added a badge to each item showing how many the character can craft. And added a badge to each item to indicate if there's a recipe or not. Uh, and then unfortunately we, we cannot have the ability to show all items of Forge like it was prior to the update due to performance concerns. So I think that a lot of this is like addressing the, uh, the player base expanding rapidly and trying to keep the game from crashing all the time or like really slow uh processing because i like i've seen it where it's like i click on a button and it takes seconds to load which can get frustrating yeah. when you're used to you know internet rapid speed so there you know one forge ui definitely needed a rework anyways but also two this helps you know the the performance concerns that they have so it's a double whammy right there um which i could appreciate so what, what are your thoughts yeah um wasn't expecting this yeah so it it's just good it's interesting to see what they're choosing to rework before like progressing further with like a deeper mechanic um so yeah i mean i'm cool with it i don't forge for anything i literally do not forge. yeah like uh, i am i i hoard resources to sell and then buy things that are hot. like the market is so broken in this game um just like in simple ml but yeah, I am. I'm just trying to buy things without forging. Period. Yeah, I I haven't forged in a long time. I literally just get resources, put it to the guild, and and then sell to vendor for the rest. Like that's that's literally yeah. been my game. Uh, so it's cool. I I'll, I'm not going to use it very often, but yeah. uh, there's other parts of it too. Um, item inspection. So now you can inspect items to see if you have a recipe for it, as well as where the item can be excuse me the item can be found and then sorting inventory you could sort your inventory now so that's cool uh just small changes here and there uh which is kind of nice um so yeah yeah and before this update there was they're tweaking the seasonal campaign that's going on right now yeah because like apparently it was too difficult i don't understand um, that me either uh <laughs> I don't know what's going on in that. I don't even look in that Discord. Like, you know, I'm what I mean, not even but... like maxing out my time in Idol MMO, uh -huh. and I I'm on my main character. Like I started late on my alts, but like on my main, mm -hmm. I'm almost done, and Same. I still got days to go. Like it, and it's not like I'm not maxing like my time there. Yeah. It's like I'm not like every two hours like oh I gotta get in there. It's like oh yeah I gotta get in there and do it like every once yeah. in a while. So and like... I listened, I listened to Jowser or whoever gave me the quick math. Yeah. Or uh, maybe it was Loon. No, it was Loon. And I even messed up. I didn't even. I, I stopped at Chalice for a second and yeah. redeemed the Chalice oh. without going to the Moon Essence, yep. which is you know efficient. Yep. And I'm still okay. Like I messed up. Yeah. You know, I threw like thirteen hundred chalices away, but yeah. then like I'm about to finish anyway. So it's like oh yeah. whatever. <laughs> I do think it's interesting that okay, like people are complaining that it's taking too long to do this, but uh, so the, the, what they do is they buff like the the world boss the dungeon and like the i think that was like the 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 mobs basically uh instead of like focusing on how many items you could get while while um doing like the the i don't know what you call it freaking lunar mastery or whatever um <laughs> i am a master in lunar <laughs> so like in, i, in I don't know like I, like it's it's an interesting like way that they buffed it and i also think like I would have told I would have told the community to pound sand like it's perfectly fine. Here's the data. I don't know. Maybe they have data that says otherwise and mm -hmm. cool, but like I don't, it feels like an easy one. It's slower than previous campaigns. At least it feels that way, but it's still yeah. attainable. So I don't know. Definitely. All right, hey, at least we're to, getting something. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Let's go to the the next one. Uh, sure. This is a quick one here. 
Um, added missing greaves from Forge List, so just fixing a problem that they had from the previous update. More performance improvements. Uh, and they found a big problem with how the pet mastery skill affects pets. It was making pets much stronger than we meant to. Uh oh. Uh, this means why pets. This explains why pet stats were significantly higher than we originally expected them to be. And we know this fix will make a lot of pets in the game seem slightly weaker now, depending on the pet mastery stat. It wasn't meant to make them worse. We're just fixing a mistake. We plan to look at all the pets soon as a result of this. We had to fix pets this. are cracked. Yeah, <laughs> we had to fix this problem right away because some players' pet mastery was getting way more bonuses than we meant to. Some <laughs> were more than double. Oh man, if only I knew, I would have. Uh, <laughs> I would have abused my pet. You still do. We don't feed them or pet them. <laughs> That's a different type. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't right. work well, home. Okay. Yeah, no comment on this. This was just a yeah. necessary fix. Yeah. Um, but yeah. that is Idle MMO and their previous updates. Crazy Fi, without further ado, if you're ready, we can move on to Ironwood RPG. Version 1.0.6. House automations can now be collected without needing to stop them. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for me, turning the uh, wood into charcoal, having to stop midway and then restart it, freaking pain in my rear. Uh, just because I'm lazy, I don't want to click buttons, uh, for an idle game. Uh, it's like collecting while it's processing. It, it just, it's so nice. I love it. Um, I don't, oh. I don't have any blueprints whatsoever. Well, that's just kind of sad. You need to go to the outskirts. <laughs> what the frick? I thought I was behind and, and uh, pray for me, chat. <laughs> pray for me. Um, I just spent 5,000 bait, uh, in fishing outskirts and did not get a blueprint. I was like, well, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> That fucking sucks. Uh, anyways, <laughs> outskirt actions and all gathering skills now require a survivability rating of at least 80 to enter. Uh, the, the whole point is outskirts were a place where you'd want players to be rewarded for branching out to multiple skills. So uh, these players that are just, you know, focusing on one skill are not going to be able to get into the outskirts as easily. Um, add a confirmation when starting a guild event. That's nice. Uh, challenges can now be completed in the outskirts, which is also nice, and they rebalance monster stats to be easier at lower levels and harder at higher levels. So that's kind of cool. I haven't really tested like how it feels for lower levels. I uh, probably better. Um, and then double the vendor price of all bones. Yeehaw, which will increase the market minimum price. Um, Yo, combat mains are happy. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sure they are. And then increase the the vendor price of potions and essence to compensate the increased bone prices and a reduce the market minimum price for flowers and veggies um and then divine potions can now only, only require 1440 super potions plus 144 regular potions so they drop that down and the cost created guild has been back up to one mil coins which is an insane amount yeah <laughs> it was like 100k and we yeah. were like sweating over yeah. that and now it's one mil dude like Thank good God. freaking luck. we got in yeah um yeah. so pretty good update all around i would say what are you what are your thoughts I think it's a very reasonable market change. Yeah. Uh, we don't see this very much in Simple Mo because Simple Mo, you know, it, they have to do like widespread. Yeah. Like it affects so much. But here it's like, here's this item. We can tweak it. The items that feed around this item or like fit in its ecosystem, like the potions, yeah. we can tweak that. And I just think it's very reasonable. And then the, the house quality of life stuff is great mm -hmm. too because you really just... You want things to be on rails in an idle game like this, and it is a pure idle game. Um, so, yeah, and I like it. And I like the little touches of, like, you know, guild notifications, yeah. things of that nature. Because we do have some event heathens that either don't join <laughs> or they join to do the wrong thing. And then do and the wrong thing. Yeah, it's like, why are you joining? Um, yeah, I'm like, why Why are you here yeah. <laughs> smelting when, yeah. <laughs> or uh, smithing when we're gathering, yeah. rather, yeah. or combat? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'll be honest, I haven't really looked at the bones in the market. That's not something that I normally uh, go for. Uh, so I haven't really mm -hmm. seen if it, like, increased uh, the market prices, like, if they shot up or not. But Wood has, for sure. Like, uh, just recently, Wood has, like, spiked, uh, which is kind of nice. I've I love been it, dude. raking in that. Uh, so I'm number nice. 42 right now on the woodcutting leaderboard. Oh, nice. Thank I'm you. a freaking celebrity. <laughs> Everyone wants my wood. Oh, okay. demonetized. All right. A new update. They fixed an issue with the combat survival percentage sometimes lowering when leveling up or upgrading equipment. They also fixed another issue with the combat survival percentage when it shows 100% when it's actually 99%. That 1% is important, folks. Um, <laughs> the displayed skilled uh, XP amounts on crafting skill pages will now have the correct amount. 
there's not enough stardust for the the tomb that's associated to it and then updated color blueprints to be different from chain scrolls which i really appreciate that um and then updated the way parry damage works but truby says parry is two-handed so i guess for like scythes mm. and stuff dude these games are just on fire with updates i wish i could say the same for some <laughs> sorry I, I choked dude idol of mo has 8500 players that's insane dude yeah they've shot up they've shot up yeah yeah that's insane okay and we're gonna actually talk talk about that in a second um oh. if you look in the notes but we're moving on to our final update tonight. Mm. Well, our final news segment tonight, and yeah. it's simple and though. Look at and that. we have we have boost chat. Boost me, we have, daddy. We have boost until tomorrow. <laughs> have you used I, even boost? Know, I I stepped a little bit today for Wolf Blood. Yeah, wow, not a lot. Look at you. But I do I do battle arena every day, so I'm you know I'm good for it. That's good. That's good. I've yeah, so we have we had the boost. Um, what's noticeable though is forty plus percent exp from Ballerina. So that's huge because yeah. there are times where they do the boost and they don't boost BA. So it's good. I like yeah. it. But we have a discussion, okay? From okay. so our Let's community, our community tab on the YouTube, we post the topics to generate. Uh, some hot takes or some input for okay. tonight's topics, right? And this comes from Caveman. So shout out to Caveman. He's in chat right now. And he says, simple mill boosts seem to be very frequent recently. I'm concerned it means Mike hasn't been prioritizing updates. And this is true, Crazy Fire. Remember, boosts were like almost like par parallel to events, right? Yeah. An event had to happen for a boost to, yeah. to like carry us through it. Um, and in response, we have Shadow. So shout out to Shadow. Uh, this is a good one. So Crazy Fire, I want to I want to get your take on this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shadow says to Cra to to Crazy to Caveman says I think you're right. Mike seems to be activating global boosts like every, or every two weeks nowadays. Whereas six months ago, when I was a noob, everyone made them out to be extremely rare. You're still a noob, by the way. It is my thoughts that he is doing so to keep simple mode player count high as we can all see how when he activates the boost, player count rises by a few hundred. I personally don't think he plans on updating the game for the foreseeable future, as I don't know probably makes way more money and has way more players, to your point, Crazy Fi. Uh, I don't want to assume... But I think he's given up on simple metal and the global boosts are to make people come back onto into the game to spend money, then use the simple mode to develop IMO, which is the normal business practice to take profits to feed into something else. But he continues. Also, if the simple mill coding is so muddled, why doesn't he hire some people to help? He genuinely has to be minted with the amount of money I've heard people spend on the game. So I wouldn't think money should be a problem. Also, if he hires more developers, then he can also work more efficiently on Idle MMO, as it seems like that's his favorite child in the family. Rip Simple MMO 2024. And that is, that's again from Shadow. <laughs> so there's a lot of like extreme points in here. Yeah. Um, but I I wanted to get your opinion on the just the sentiment of this post because both of them, I feel like that's a common belief yeah. within our community. I would call it the doomsday belief personally <laughs> um or the pessimistic belief uh to play devil's advocate a little bit it seems like there's a pattern and maybe i need to go back and actually like really look at it because i haven't focused too much on it but they do um server maintenance or back end maintenance right and then there's yeah. a boost uh so there's like there's a pattern now of they're updating the game like it's clearly an update to the game right we just don't know what it's updating. We we have an idea, right? Um, they are they're rebuilding the code base to be better to be like Idle MMO. You know, Yomu said like Idle MMO's uh, code base is like reading a book, whereas mm -hmm. Mike has been taking the year to, or you know, well so far like this year to update Simple MMO's code base so that more developers could work on it instead of it being spaghetti code. Um, which could mean in the future he does hire more devs to support Simple MMO, but it's not in a place right now where it could be handed off to another dev 
to 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 work on because it's they what take like six months you know or something crazy to like go through the code and learn how it works right like that's a a long cycle to get someone spun up when yeah you could take a year or whatever it may be that it, it requires because you also have other products in your your lineup for the company that you're working on and probably some future product as well um to develop out the code base to be able to have multiple developers work on it whether it's yomu that comes on to it or or you know mm. someone else gets hired on if they they have that money yeah whatever you know what it might be uh <laughs> um <laughs> so like uh, i don't i i'd like sure uh you know like and, and yes absolutely it makes sense as a company as a business to provide these boosts to entice people to continue to play when there's no front mm. end updates no new features for this time like that makes sense like so like it's a good it would be a bad thing if it was like server maintenance and like or back in updates we don't hear anything and there's no boost, right? Then like yeah. that shows like he doesn't really care. Well, now we're conditioned to think that that's when the boost happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so like, like I, that's that's. I mean, that's my opinion on it. Whether it's wrong or right, who knows? I think we could probably ask and figure out at some point. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, like I don't. It's a doomsday uh, thought to to in that regard. I I think. Mike is doing a disservice by not communicating the backend updates. Like we said this before, right? Like, yeah. Uh, even if like it goes technical, who cares? Like it's written down. Like here's another update. Here's an update. Here's an update. Some people may not understand the technical like backend stuff. Some will, and they will get excited and learn about it. Like I would love to see it. Like, but at least it communicates. Like, hey, I'm still working on this. I am refactoring my code. I'm making it better. Or whatever it may be, right? Um. Yeah, so I I, th I think there could be better communication in, in these updates and these boosts or whatever it may be, uh, to to stop the spiral of this you know, this this idea of death uh, for the game. But uh, yeah, that that's that's what I think. What what are your thoughts? I'm I'm interested. Um yeah, so I think boosts are definitely stemming, you know they're yeah. they're they're it's a stop loss, so they're stemming the bleeding. Yeah. So that's definitely that's a sentiment that i think is true for sure uh and that's fine because mmos do this shit all the time right um and it keeps the players who are still here here right so yeah i think boosts are definitely like a band-aid um we've we've talked about it you know over and over again just more communication and to amelia's point uh in chat she says as partners with galahad creative couldn't you guys ask mike well we just got done negotiating our current partnership and we've requested, you know, quarterly or every other month, whatever it might be, we've requested um, content between us and Yomu or us and Mike to start doing that because mm -hmm. no one, there's like no social, there's no commissioner, there's no, you know, social uh, media manager, social media front facing um, person in Galahad that's doing it. So we're hopefully going to be the ones to bridge that gap. Uh, but yeah, I just think, I mean, we did get an update a month ago and it was pretty good. It was okay. It showed signs of life, yeah. um, but we just need without a roadmap that's being pointed to, you know, every right. month or so, right. uh, players are going to feel this way. Yeah. I'm going to feel this way. Like, yo man, what's going on? Um, this is the biggest fundamental change. And I'm not talking about the market tuning or anything like that. The biggest fundamental change was the SGL, in my opinion. Yes. When we when we did the SGL, they saw it was a proven concept through us. They they quote unquote had the plans. That's what Yoma told us. That was the biggest change to Simple Mill. One of the best changes. And we, in my opinion, we make it better. If we stop commenting on, if we stop getting guilds input, and mm -hmm. you know doing our own award show and stuff like that. I think it would eventually fizzle out, but yeah, it, we just need more. We just need to hear about it and hopefully we can do that. Uh, but shadow, you know, he's got some good points. I haven't heard minted since, uh, uh, <laughs> like watching like UK shows, like, what the, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, am I watching in betweeners right now? But, um, yeah, <laughs> I, 
it's unfortunate that players are starting to feel this way for real, especially when you look at I don't know in the patch notes and the patch notes and the changes yeah. and the mechanics being expanded upon, yeah. and you're just like, damn, can we? I cannot wait to get there. But we also have to deal with the reality that Simple Mo is kind of like an aged game and it's stable. It's over five might... to six years old now. So yeah, like... and this might be it. Yeah, you know? like what other content? Like at, that, that is a good point. Like yeah, at some point there's not going to be new content or new fun functions within the game. It's just going to be stabilized. Uh, and who knows when that'll be soon. Maybe not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I don't think, I think they still got more work on it. Um, I think they'll go back to that roadmap at some point, but you know, yeah. it is what it is. We'll figure it out. We'll, yeah. It's our job to figure time. it out for you guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it for you guys. Okay. No, we'll figure it out and we won't tell anyone. Yeah, that concludes the uh yeah. the, the news segment for all the lightweight MLGs. Hope you enjoyed it. 